All right, yeah. So, and also knowing that the dollar index is um, looking bearish right now, this is also uh, a reason why Euro USD pushed up to the upside. So, after that strong breakout, you will look for a small correction and then um, you will look for the market to continue to back to the upside because overall the momentum is bullish. You could just look at the previous bull candles, they're clearly like have strong, defined uh, bullish candles, right, right here. Strong bullish candle, next candle, strong bullish candle. The next candle was consolidation, followed by a strong bullish engulfing candle that eventually broke the overall highs to the left. All right, so this is so with this pair, because of this shift move, this push back down to 1.13 is either going to be the pullback before we push higher. Or the market needs to possibly push back a little bit lower before going to the upside. But regardless, I just see this as a pullback before going higher. I like for EU to reach 1.135 to 1.14 resistance level. And you also can possibly draw a fib from oops, I got the from the low to the high. <clears throat> So from this low down here, when the market made the low right before the overall bullish move, that low to that high, market pushes down the 38.2 aligns with this level, and then the 61.8 and 72 will be the next levels of support if we were to break below 1.13. All right, but because, just keep in mind, because of this strong but bullish momentum, there may not be enough bearish momentum for the pull for the retracement. So because the market pushed to the upside, this may be the pullback before the market rounds out. So it could just be something like this. The market pushed up. This is the retracement. And then it starts to round out. It probably comes up to try to meet that high. But if it doesn't do that, then we're possibly going to see that next move to the downside. But overall, I'm um, bullish on Euro USD. All right, um, USD Chef. So price has been pretty bearish on USD Chef anyway. We just made new lows. Price rejected from 0 0.94 support level. And it's looking like it's about to make that retracement to previous support around 0 0.945. Oh, I didn't believe that. Yeah, around 0 0.945, 0 0.95. Looks like that's where it's going to be headed next before it, uh, the next move to the downside. All right, so this could act as a support and then also 94 could act as a support could see if the market breaks above this level, starts to rise and come back to the zone because we also have a break here. We have a support here and we also have support here and support here. So if we do get that break, this level right here would be a good area where you chef could possibly retrace before we see that move back down to the downside. A break back below 0 0.94 will more than likely make new lows and break these overall lows down here. All right, USD CAD. So similar, uh, USD CAD. It just broke out of this. Uh, it broke. It just broke this trend line right here. Broke below. Came back up and retest, and now we're currently below that trend line. So before I just look for sales because we've already been pushing down one, two, about a week straight. Um, I would like to see USD CAD make some type of correction possibly. And with this type of formation, it could be like a sloppy looking head and shoulders pattern. If we do get this type of uh, confirmation with this being shoulder, this being head. And if this push, if the price pushes up and holds and does not break above this overall resistance right here, then we could possibly see the market look to make another move to the downside. Overall, a break market would need to break back below 1.35 support. A break back below 1.35 support could possibly push the market back down to these lows down here. Simple breakout retest continuation.
if we see something like that. So I'll be watching USD cap to see if we could get that push to the upside. If so, I'm looking to see if the market can hold up below this resistance. If so, I'll be looking for possible sales. In order to get a, a better entry, you could draw your fib from this high down to this low. And then this pullback could possibly be the retracement for the continuation to the downside. So your fib would be like from this high down to this low. And then that area where I had price push possibly coming up to aligns with the 61.8. And then boom, the 1.35 support would be the TP around. And that's where the negative 24 is at. So that's what I'm looking at. Well, that's what I'd be waiting to watch for on USD CAD because if that presents itself, that's a pretty simple setup. All right. Um, CAD Jappy. So y'all sent out the signal last week. TP1 was hit earlier today. And even though the market is uh, retraced, I'm still bullish on this pair simply because we're clearly in this uptrend from this point. The market was making higher highs, higher low, higher high, higher low, and the overall made this higher high. And then even though the market pushed down and made the sharp decline to the downside, all it did was push down to the 50 EMA, find support, and then also make a higher low because this low right here in this area is higher than this low down here. So it's still it's still making solid structure. So with that, and off of that 50 EMA gave us a strong bullish candle, another strong bullish candle. So overall, everything still looks bullish. It's just the market can still always uh, make a slight pushback back down, possibly to 78.50, um, as low as 78.50, I would say, because as long as the market holds above this area right here, I'm still looking for buys. And truthfully, you can take it back up to the overall high, possibly. So, let's see. I would like for us to get a slight pullback, even if it doesn't fall as low as 78.50. If it comes back down to 79, it can't really break that much lower. If it, as long as the market holds above this support and then above the 50 EMA, we could start to see the market push back up to the overall highs around 81, 81's resistance, 81.50. And technically, if we break above that structure, we still have these highs over here that can get hit. So I'll still be watching Cat Jeff because this is still a good setup, especially if the market holds above this area right here. It's a pretty good risk to reward. You can bring you can bring out your risk to reward setup. So if it does come back down towards 79, so let's just say you entered around 79.15. Your stops will go below that low. So like around 77, 8. And then if your TPs could come up to this overall high right here around 82, that's a two to one right there, risk to reward ratio. You're risking, in this case, 100 pips to gain almost 300, but you could always modify your stop loss. This is just the ideal look. You would want your stop losses below this low, and then ideally you would want your take profits at these highs, but you don't always have to wait for that long because it could take a little while. So really once the market hits 80 resistance, and if it can't really break above 80 resistance, that would be an opportunity to possibly take profit. And if the market drops on the pullback, that's an opportunity to re-enter and then you get there on that same trade. That's why it's good to just master and focus on a few pairs because then you could just catch these tendencies and be ready for when it's ready to move. All right, Euro Jappy. So I'm going to go over, I think, one more pair and then... Um, if you guys have any pairs that you want me to go over before we hop off, you can send them in the chat real quick. All right, so Euro Jappy, it's been pretty bullish. Uh, most recently, we broke out of this strong resistance level right here.
So really, I'm just going to keep this simple. Um, it's either going to be two scenarios. We're either, this is either the breakout retest and we're going to go higher or the market just needs to make us a, uh, a deeper correction. So if it breaks below, it's coming down towards either the 50 EMA or the trend line. And then from there, those areas, I'll be looking for buys. So overall, I'm still bullish on EJ. It's just it may need to make a deeper correction towards one. I mean, towards 121, 121.5. And if it doesn't and overall it holds, we can see the market push back up towards 122 resistance. And um, you could possibly draw a fib from this low to this high like this. A trend line aligns with like the 78.6. The 50 EMA aligns with the 72 and the 78. So that's in the perfect price reversal zone right there. So if we do get that break of this uh, structure level, then I'm looking for the market to come down here. If it does come down here, I'll be waiting for bullish confirmation, bullish candlesticks, bullish reversal patterns, anything like that. And then I'll look for buys to the upside. Only way I'm not looking for buys is if you see a strong bearish candle that breaks through all that support. That's like the only way that I wouldn't be looking for buys because the momentum would uh, be too strong. All right. So the last pair I'm looking at is uh, GBP CAD. Okay, I'll go over to you after. All right, so uh, GBP CAD, let me see. Most recently, it's been looking pretty bullish, actually. Price just hit these lows here, and then it pushed up, made a high here, came back down, made a new low, this low. Is higher than this previous low, and then when it pushed up, this high is previous is higher than this previous high. So now all the market did was push down to the 50 EMA, and it's having struggle breaking below the 50 EMA. So if it can't break below the 50 EMA, this is a simple breakout retest, and then you'll just look for the continuation. Like that's pretty simple, and that's only if this support down here can hold. If that support holds, then overall you're going to see. Uh, GBP cap possibly push back up towards 1.70 resistance. But now if this support level gets broken, then um, you'll be looking for a breakout retest to the other side. And you possibly could see the market push back down to this support level if we break back down to the downside. As of right now, the market, I'm favoring the bullish bias as of now, but um, I believe like on a, um, in the employment for CAD comes out later on this week. So that could also play in a factor and then whatever's going on with the overall uh, GBP. All right, so the only other scenario is if this support does get broken, then I would need to see something like this and then write it down to the downside. That's the only way I would look for like sales at the, in this case. But also keep in mind on this four hour right here, this is like a, a railroad. So railroads like this normally lead to bearish price action. So that's why I'm not just taking my buys just yet. I need to see if this support is going to hold or if it's just a fake out, getting people to go long when it's just not really a actual strong support level. So if that does get broken, then I'm looking for that retest. I'm entering here and writing this down to the downside. But now if this holds, I'll be looking for a breakout push back down and now look to push it up to the upside. So I'm really just wait to monitor. All right, GBP USD. Daily time frame. Um so GU is still in that critical area where it's in between bearish and bullish as of right now the most recent price action the market looks bullish um it's still below that most recent higher low though so that's what you would have to be aware of but um looks like it wants to go bullish for, as of right now and okay so the market when it came down here this pretty much made a double bottom right here and then it also rejected off 123 uh, support, gave us a bullish hammer candle. Price broke above 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5, 123.5,
the market pushed back down, retested, and then gave us another bullish hammer candle that broke above the 50 MA. And then the next candle tried to give us an attempt up. Next candle pushed back down, retested the 50 MA. It was once acting as resistance here. When it broke above and it came back down, it's now acting as support. And then now the price is currently just holding above that 50 MA. So even if you, you we even still could see a slight pullback back down before pushing back up. But as of right now, I look for this to possibly push the upside. But this resistance right here is critical. So I really need to see that resistance get broken for my bias to um for me to be more confident in my overall bias, because then if that's broken on that retest, then you could possibly ride that up to the next level. But overall, yeah, this looks bullish. I just need this resistance right here to get broken. If this resistance never gets broken and then the market can't make more attempt to the upside, then overall, you may see that push back down to the downside. But as of right now, it looks more bullish. So I would look for uh, I'll wait for a pullback to the downside and then I'll look for buys possibly. And that also aligns with the dollar possibly being weak. All right, so is there any other pairs that anybody wants me to go over before I hop off? Yeah, no doubt, just wait for uh, pretty much it to show his hand. All right, so um, if there's no other pairs, I'll be hopping off. I'm going to be doing another webinar sometime tomorrow, probably, depending on how the pairs go uh, move. As of right now, it's probably going to be sometime in the evening. So I'll be sending that out, and then I'll be posting markups. Me and Brandon will be posting markups later on in the week, so keep an eye out for that. All right, guys, thank you guys for hopping on, and I'll see you guys on the next webinar.